Hey guys, it's Alton, and today I'm going to show you how to build a floating NPC prison in Terraria. It's simple, easy to make, and great to have if you want to keep all of your NPCs in one place. It also doubles as a great base for boss fights and events if you set up some sky bridges and well placed traps. So before we get started, let me show you what a real, simple floating NPC house looks like. It's 12 by 9, has no doors, and uses a workbench instead of a table. It may be missing a lot of things, but it only matters that it's a valid house. And don't worry about NPCs reaching them by the way. If you set this up right, they should appear inside the room after you spend a few minutes off screen. In some cases, they teleport there almost instantaneously. There are other variations of this model, but I chose to go with this one in order to show you guys a quicker and more efficient way of constructing these houses for all of your NPCs so that you don't have to erect them one by one. So the first thing you need to do is gather some materials. You'll need blocks, walls, torches, platforms, and workbenches for this build. Wood is hands down the best material to get early on because you're gonna need that to craft other materials necessary to create a valid house. You'll also want to gather a lot of it because there can be upwards of 28 NPCs in the game depending on the console you're playing on. You're gonna need a lot to craft all of those houses. I would also recommend getting materials on another map that's different to the one you intend to play on so that you don't leave your current world looking empty or patchy. Okay, we're just about ready to begin. If you can, mark the spot beside your spawn point. This indicates where you are in relation to the NPC prison. Some people like to build their structures in a way where they appear inside or in the middle of the room, while others, like me, prefer to have it on the tail end so I can quickly leave and explore the map. Next, clear out any obstacles like trees, walls, or dirt mounds. I tend to level the ground at this point to make it easier to move around, and once that's done, I return to where I mark the ground so I can put down 15 blocks. We'll eventually remove the bottom 3 blocks so we can get to the other side. You can make this structure taller if you'd like. It'll make it possible to ride your mount that way, but I tend to keep it only 3 blocks high for easy access to my NPCs. I also eyeball the length of the prison because that's more convenient than having the exact measurements in my head, and I think most of you can agree with that. You can leave this open at the end in case you need to add or take away blocks. I like closing it off so I don't have to worry about enemies going in and bumping into me while I do the tedious bits. After finishing the frame, start placing platforms above your character. Then take your pickaxe and remove platforms in such a way that it leaves a space between each one. Take note that the first platform has to connect to a block. Once you're done, put walls above the line. Wall placement can be a pain but I found that having the smart cursor on allows for quick placement. The tools I have help, but unfortunately they're not available if you're just starting out. You're going to have to power through it until you can get your hands on items such as the bricklayer and architect gizmo pack. If you'd like, you can put platforms up here to act as scaffolding. Just remember to remove them once you're done. Next, add dividers by adding a column of blocks after every two platforms. That's platform, empty space, platform, and your block should be slotted into the next empty space. For purposes of demonstration, I'm only going to build 14 rooms. So what I'll do next is place chairs inside the rooms. This isn't a big deal, but where your character faces also determines where your chairs face. The torches come next, and I think they should at least be two blocks above the chair. I'm not entirely sure, but what I like to do is get on the roof so I could place torches without having to enter each room. You can now place a block to seal off the rooms and so that you can also place the workbenches. Finally, to make sure everything is working well, I just go into the menu and select the inquiry icon to check on the validity of each house. Make sure you're clicking on the room and not the wall because it won't show up as a valid space if it's the wall you're clicking on. So there you have it, a really simple and straightforward way to build your NPC prison. I hope you guys loved it, like the video if you did and sub to the channel for more awesome content. I'll see you guys later and have a great day!